I loved Milton. You were my idol when I was a kid. Now I'm getting shock treatments. <laughs> is he is he laughing? Take a look. I kid you, old timer. <laughs> A joke. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, old time? <laughs> Isn't he great? <laughs> he also has a problem. <laughs> We'd like to get back to Jerry. Uh... <laughs> Jerry Lewis is a fantastic star. He lives in St. Cloud. Uh... Up above Bel Air, up above Poughkeepsie Bay, in a million dollar house with 12 security guards and one Jewish guy at the gate going, you can come in. <laughs> well, wonderful wife, Patty, the great Italian lady, God love her. Not allowed to say that on television. A great woman stood out in front of the lawn with all her Italian heritage and yelled, Ice! <laughs> People went over big tonight. Alan King and Rex Reed. <laughs> and I worship these two guys. Did you notice when I said that Milton Bro went, Phew, he didn't say me. <laughs> Milton was a great, great star. Milton, all your great, great cohorts. Jack Haley. <laughs> George Burns, Jack Benny, all the biggies. And good luck to you. I spoke to the home, Milton. You've been spitting up again. The only one that doesn't wear a blanket around his legs. And why do I kid, Milton? Because he's old. He's old, and what can he do to me? That's right, Patty. Drink to keep the image. Why do I kid Patty Lewis? Because it's my job. What am I going to do here? Stand here and kid this old man here with the funny ears? I don't even know who you are. I've seen a lot of people. But all you need is a rubber band and Mighty Mouse on the floor. My luck, this will be the president of Kraft. and pray, shine on harvest moon, they know. <laughs> Sit down, honey. I hate that, a girl walking around introducing herself to all the tables. Good to see you, Laverne. You still in the roller derby? What a great night. Jerry Lewis said we invited all his good friends. Peppy, Lou, Max, and Saw. This table, men here, gentlemen here. Where are you from, sir, if I may ask? New Jersey. You hear the crowd? What is your last name, sir? Anderson. I never heard of you. What to see is, what's your first name, Mr. Anderson? Bill Anderson. Get out. Forty million people that are close to Jerry, we got dumbbell Bill Anderson right now. Jerry Lewis, Patty made the seating arrangements, and this hockey puck, Bill Anderson, from Jersey, who nobody knows, is right in the front. And I'll bet a thousand dollars he's a policeman on strike. Anthony Quinn, my closest friend. <laughs> Anthony Quinn, a wonderful man. We had dinner the other night in L.A. Still eats with his hands. <laughs> Sits on the floor in the underwear going... <laughs> you don't call him a slob because he's as big as Rex Reed. <laughs> and I kid you, Rex, we've never met. We're going to be closer. <laughs> We're going to go to camp together and have a lot of fun. Trip. <laughs> you know what the funny
funniest was that the whole night I said a kayak trip and Anderson went, hmm. Here we are, Anderson. We'll never come in here again. You understand that? Forty million wealthy people, this hockey puck with the Mickey Mouse watch and the droop of dry tie. I kid you, Anderson. You're an Irishman, right? Are these toughies, Anderson? It doesn't matter to me what you are. You're a human being. I don't want to ever see you again. Is that your missus? Hmm. Give money and help Mrs. Anderson's wife get on her feet again. I kid around about life and people. You keep it up, Johnny. And I'm going to tell everybody that you double date with Merv Griffin. <laughs> Here. I had to take a bus all the way from California to be at your cockamamie show here tonight. People said, Jerry wants you. We never even see each other in L.A. I stand outside the restaurant while you're sitting at the table with Patty throwing meat on the sidewalk. Like a jerk, I roll over and go, no. But why am I here tonight, Jerry? Because you could get hot again. It's a great... Could you watch me, fella? The guy here for the smoke party. I'm breaking my neck and this guy's blowing smoke like the fruit trees are going back. I don't know who you are, kid, but get a tux like everybody else. I say to you, Jerry, we, we kid around. There are many great clowns in our business. Emmett Kelly, that's about it. Fun is fun. Really. And I quote from the Talmud. That's a book that our people read. And it said, Love thyself, my dear Jerome, as thy love thee. Thyself. If there's another outburst, I'll clear the room. <laughs> love thyself. Jerry, I say this deeply and honestly. A great man, Rabbi Aaron Kreiman. Have you heard of him? I never did either. That's why he's not practicing. He said, if I love thyself, I love thee. Let the land of the camel know that the Sinai Desert suck up the sand from the moon. Let the moon suck up the sand. You know what's scary? He's gone. Mm. I say to all of you tonight, in honor of Jerry Lewis, really, Jerry, you are indeed a kind man. There are many people I've met in California. There is none more gracious than you are. You are an outgoing human being. God has blessed you with a great gift. And uh, you have a delightful family. It has been my pleasure in our meetings from time to time. And from over the uh, tough competitive business, this guy always has a smile in his handout to be warm and kind. That is a blessing. Your talent, we know about. Continued success. And may the man upstairs continue to watch over you and yours. No. It's time for Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Hold on, Mary. <laughs> what a great night. I'm, I'm too choked up, folks, to talk about Jerry. I, I'd like to just... To get things rolling, Jerry, you annoy me. <laughs> this has been a big, exciting night. I, I've been sitting next to Johnny Carson the whole night, and he's been telling me how he got started. <laughs> Johnny, I say to all, on behalf of all of my people, I say this from my heart. You're a wealthy man. We're going to drive a bus over your legs, Johnny. <laughs> the teleprompter go when I'm up. As <laughs> soon as I'm on, everything dies. I'd like yes. to say, Rex Reed, you were marvelous. These people are dumbbells. You're marvelous, Rex. I'm going to come over to the house, do your laundry, whatever you want. <laughs> You're a dynamite guy. Mine, Breckenridge, was my favorite picture. Anyway, don't you find that funny, Peppy? <laughs> Peppy 
Johnny Wiener, one of the well-known Jewish tycoons sitting here in the front with the phony ring. Sure, I'm going in the act. What am I going to do? Come out in a suede smoking jacket like I'm wealthy? I didn't recognize the gentleman with the beard. Good luck, sir, and give my best to the folks in Bethlehem. This is an exciting night. I know I said it, I'll say it again. Why don't you become the interpreter? It was a wonderful treat to see Milton Berle backstage come up to me and go, hello, son, I'm Milton Berle. I love Milton. You were my idol when I was a kid. Now I'm getting shock treatments. Is he, is he laughing? Take a look. I kid you, old timer. It's a joke. What do you mean, old timer? Isn't he great? He also has a problem. 